Okay, so this is DC, the head nodder guy. So he's been worked for, I think, two weeks since he's lost. It's 10 days since the last time I massaged him. Um, so working on two points, um, pole bones, um, nuchal ligament. So there's two, there's knots on this side. And yeah, there's a knot right there. And then there was, a, and there's one across here. So um, when I started at least 15 minutes ago, um, he, he couldn't even let me work on it. Isn't that bird? It's an Indian miner. Yeah. And he had a, he had a haircut, <laughs> a little boy cut. It takes me some getting used to. Um, Makes me think of a human fringe, <laughs> boy fringe. Um, yeah, so he's relaxed himself. Now the first 10, 15 minutes was most head throwing, bobbing, shoving, shaking. There's still issues here with this nuchal ligament on either side. I can feel it here. Mm. Sorry, boy. Sorry, sorry. Come here. He says, leave that and just let me eat. Mm -mm. Be careful, don't push me off my step. I am what, careful. I'm sitting on a step today. Just lift your head up. Boy. Come. So no, now I need to put the, the form, forming thing off. So I can just hold him. As he lifts up, this knot pushes quite deeply at, into this part, into the, my thumb part and those fingers. So I'm going to just hold it. For him to find the pressure there you go so then he stopped throwing his head around and he's found the pressure himself so i've just given him the ball of my thumb and my um three fingers on two well two actually are um, holding pressure there for him so he can drop his head down if he wants to or he can even throw my hand off if he wants to knock me off the chair if he wants to but he's gone let me see if i can Show you anything happening to his nose. Any breathing is happening there. We have the flies are bugging us. There he's throwing his head around. Eyes open to see what the other horses are. There he's been. So we're finding that point. And like nothing's happening here. The only thing is that he's going into into that endocrine sleep moment. I must research and see if there's some more scientific explanations for this. So now there's not yeah, I'm moving it against itself, against the ligament. Then he says that was too much. I eased up. He said that was too much moving. Anyway, it's releasing. And he's going to say that's too much. I'm trying to pop it now. Bump, bump, and release. So um, direct pressure can be anything from 30 seconds to 90 seconds. And then when you release, you get hyperemia. Blood flows. Um, and you go again. It's quite small now. It's the size of my... Mm, top part of my thumb. It was the size of the ball of my thumb when I started. Now, so he's been back in work, light work. Um, today's ride was a lot more trotting. So he also has a very slow knee. Oh, this it's so hard here. This whole nuchal ligament there, then not nuchal ligament soft here. This is hard here. Come here, sorry, boy. I was a bit pokey with my thumb. Come here. Come here. So I'm going to roll my thumb there. Oh, he says don't even think of it. Okay, so I'm going to just put the... Uh, put this in. Wait. Now I'm just moving the skin. So now I'm going to just go back to fascia. Fascia. And micro wiggles. So that we can just get some semblance of movement here. Hmm. Oh, it's okay with that again. 
his way. So there you got the micro movements. It's quite big actually. You're rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, <laughs> bumping off my steps. So we're going to go back to release that again and start again. Okay, there's a re referral to the lips. Yeah, I'm going to actually leave it at that. Big lick and chew. Mm, I'll do a little bit of TMJ. TMJ. So what's nice is I'm actually going to go and do one of the other horses. We're waiting for, waiting for um, somebody to come. Come up. So my body work started in the south same barn. 12 years ago. Qualified 12 years ago. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it because that's softened tremendously. It'll continue working for up to three days, eh? Once the endocrine is going to continue releasing it. Um, that's why we don't do things day one straight at the next day 24 hours you definitely give it a three day gap so your body's still processing and trying to restore the healing on its own because that's what our bodies are designed to do are they not thanks dear for letting me do that thanks dear